It was a dose of reality for at-risk youth in Erie, and this is all related to youth violence. Doctors at UPMC Hammett explaining what happens to a gunshot victim when they arrive at the emergency room. It's all in an effort to curb gun violence. Our Kara Coleman has more. It's got a razor's edge on it, and you hold it up on the sternum like this, and you hit that, and that'll break that sternal bone in half. Trauma surgeon Dr. Gregory English knows that treating a gunshot victim isn't as easy as in the movies. We take some uh, clamps, grab that sack. And on Thursday morning, he walked at-risk kids through that sometimes graphic process, and he didn't mince words. I actually feel where your ribs are with my finger. We go right in over the rib. It's all part of the Flipside program, first implemented at UPMC Hammett in 2015. With help from the district attorney's office, the juvenile probation system, and the blue coats, the program identifies kids on the wrong path and shows them what really happens on the operating table. These are angiocatheters. You can see they're a big needle. The average kid, when it comes to gun violence, they seriously believe that somebody shows up with a pair of tweezers and just pluck the bullet out. Blue coat Daryl, brother D. Craig, says the trip to the trauma room isn't to scare these kids straight, although it might, but to get them to think straight. And we just figure by showing them the reality, it will cause them to think a little bit more. We know these acts are being committed with not a lot of thought going into it. And to let these kids know that sometimes a bad decision involving a gun can be life-changing. And when unfortunately there's nothing else that we can do, that clock is there to be able to say time of death. Kara Coleman, Erie News Now. UPMC Hammett's Flipside program has been such a success, it actually is now being used at Children's Hospital in Pittsburgh. Flipside is sponsored by the Hammett Health foundation.